Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Wish Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me. I am so excited for this week's plan with me because I'm going to try to do this as a live talk through plan with me, um, which I really like to do. They're pretty difficult to film, so I don't film them all the time, but I really enjoy watching them when other people do them. So, and I get a lot of good feedback when I do these too. So there is that. The other reason I'm excited about it is because I have this incredible kit from um, Panda Bird Designs in collaboration with Shante Plans, who is my friend Tay. It is so beautiful, and I am so, so excited to plan this with this kit. Um, they very kindly gifted it to me, so thank you so much, Tay and um, Jess, for the kit. It is stunning. It is definitely one of my favorite kits this summer, and there are so many add-ons and extras that I'm really excited to show you. I'll talk through all of those. Um, yeah, so it's just a really, really exciting <laughs> kit and spread for me. Sorry if you heard that. Um, I was going to grab my freebie with Panda Bird Designs. Um, I have a code and a freebie, Lauren15, for 15% off, and you can put in my, na my name in the notes to get this freebie. This kit is going to be available in the shop, I think, permanently. I don't think they're taking it down. Um, I know it's probably a little bit late for you to buy more summer kits, but if you like it, you can use my code on it. And if you're past summer kits, you can use my code for anything else that you like. Um, okay, so let's talk through the kit. Uh, Tay talked a lot about her inspiration from the kit. She is from Southern California, and this has a very, like, old school vintage Southern California feel to it, which I love. I think it's beautiful. I love how soft the colors are. It's a very, like, cotton candy colored but they're just so soft and the rose gold is really unexpected for summer. I don't know. I just love it. I love the details in it. I love the little garlands that they have, all the little birds and palm trees, the surfboards. It's just such a pretty, pretty kit. Here's this page. Absolutely gorgeous. This page. She's kind of redone the format since I've last planned with her kits. Her, her format has always been really different than other, um, I really like these scalps, than other shops that um, are out there. But she just has such a unique style that's like so her, her being Jess. Um, and I never really, like when she has stickers that are different than a lot of others, um, I never really mind because I feel like she's got such a good style and like an artistic vision that even though it's different than what I'm used to, I totally get it. And so I have fun using it. Okay. Sorry. So add-ons wise, they did a, that collab. They also collabed with Gathered Plans, who is Rachel, who has a collab, a separate collab with Panaber Design where they have a lot of like layering elements. They did the date covers. So it's kind of like a three-way collab. Let's see, maybe I'll zoom in for this stuff. A three-way collab there, really pretty. I think I'm going to use the premium matte ones. And then I really love this, and I'm so grateful Jess threw in three of these. They're the foil deco add-on. I keep talking about how I would love more shops to do stuff like this, where they're pulling elements that they've used like in the full boxes and decoratively the foiled elements from those, the kit, and then giving them to you so that you can pull them in to the kit also and just make it more, look even more cohesive. I love that. I'm obsessed with the palms. I love every single sticker on this. I will use all of them. Um, and then you've got the floral deco sheets. She gave me four, which is amazing. Really pretty florals. I love all the individual elements. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Um, we have the journaling sheet with some really big deco elements. I think I'm going to pull some of these into the sidebar. And then I think I'm going to use these like sandy looking like sand dune strips up in the date cover area. And then lastly, there is another kit add on another um, gathered layers collection collab. So it's again, that kind of through a collab between Rachel, Tay and Jess where you can get all of these individual pieces as part of the Gathered Layers collection, and then they made the matching colorway in the Vintage Surf um, color, so this will match the kit really well. So that is everything I have for this kit. Oh, it also came with a really pretty matching journaling card, which 
that makes sense to me to have a journaling card that matches the spread. If you were to do like a whole, I don't know. I don't journal, so I can't really talk about it. But anyways, that's the kit. I'm going to start planning. I can't wait. I think it's going to be amazing. Oh, I didn't even mention the reason that I'm using this kit. I'm doing a random week in June. Where is it? Well, I must have pulled off the tag. Oh, here. <laughs> a random week in June because I actually went down to LA this week and I feel like this kit is very LA inspired. So, um, yeah, it's perfect. So that's, that's what I'm going to be using it for. Okay. Let's get into the planning. All right. So I'm heading down to the bottom here, starting off with the bottom washi. Um, normally I would probably not talk through too much of this kind of base portion of it because I don't know what else it's not there's not really too much to say down here um, but I am gonna try and add something I think in between the washi and the two strips of washi um, because well I just like to do that lately <laughs> um, so I was thinking I was going to use hold on I have my binder with all of my um, summer foil deco I have not yet put my washi into the new washi sheets from Ray and Tay, but they do have them now. Anyways, I have this like wave washi that I was thinking of maybe using down here from the Pretty Pink Co. But there's a lot going on right here with the waves and the palm trees and the dolphins and the sun and the birds. Like it's a lot. So I think I might go for something more simple. Um, and the options that I were was thinking about were... I have my favorite washi, which is the Dainty Washi from the Pretty Pink Co. And then um, I also thought maybe this Rope Washi, since it's kind of ocean themed, like that nautical would make sense. Um, kind of feel like I may as well give it a try, right? Let's see. I feel like this whole, I feel like there's, I'm going to end up doing a lot, <laughs> but that's okay. Do we like it? Sorry. Can you tell it's rope? I don't know. I think it looks cute. We'll give it a try. Um, and then maybe I'll just do the thing that I've been really enjoying, which is um, taking that dainty washi and lining the columns with it. I think that's super fun. So, um, maybe we'll do it that way. Okay. I'm going to do the other side. I'll be right back. All right, that is what I came up for for the bottom washi. I think it looks really nice. Um, I'm going to start doing the date covers. Um, Tay is doing like a virtual planner meetup for this like kit. And um, I am going to participate in that, obviously. She's my friend, so I got a supporter for that sort of thing. And I'm really excited about it. But um, what I think I'm going to do is figure out like one side of the date cover deco on camera with you and then do one side of it during that meetup so you'll just see the one side and then I'll come back and show you the other. Okay hi y'all um it is a couple days since I filmed the first part where I laid down the bottom washi and I did the virtual uh planner collab meetup for Tay for this kit and I did the first half of the date covers while um well actually it's the second half of the week but I wanted to do I don't know why I picked that oh because I think I didn't want to do the month section <laughs> um I did that while on the like the meetup so um what I figured I would do is do that first and then replicate it with you guys here um to the best of my ability um, that virtual planner meetup was really fun. Um, I think she's going to do like, well, I don't, I shouldn't say she's going to, but I think she's going to look into doing more of them. It's essentially just like a zoom where, um, I don't know, you get on the zoom and then everyone has 
their camera either on their plans or on themselves and everyone just kind of like hangs out and chills and chats while they play together it was really great <laughs> um so yeah I was able to get a small section of the date covers done. I actually could have done a lot more but I wanted to save this for you guys so I only did that part um I used the sandbar in the background and then let me grab the date covers I can find the other half I put the date covers over top of the sandbar um on the other side you can see the it only really extends a little farther than three boxes so on the other side I think this is a good trick if you want to do something similar to this is I actually cut it a couple times but you can't tell like I laid it down, cut it right there, <laughs> or probably like cut it, yeah, like right there, and then moved it over so it's over here, did that again, so it would go the full width. I don't know if I'm explaining that very well, but I think it's a good way to, um, I know a lot of kits come, I'm gonna go like this maybe, so I can kind of copy, copy as I go. One of my favorite parts of having um, inserts rather than a coiled planner is my ability to do this. I really like doing this, especially when I'm laying down the date covers. I remember when I was in a coiled planner, sometimes stuff like this, not my date covers because date covers weren't really a thing or date cover deco wasn't really a thing at the time, um, that I had a coiled planner, but, um, just like my week would end up looking totally different or I would totally forget something that I did on one side and didn't carry over to the other, which if you know me, if you've watched any of my plan with me is I really like cohesion. I like to make sure that I'm carrying certain elements um, and themes throughout the whole spread. But I used to have a real big problem with not doing that, forgetting. Um, <laughs> As I would, as I'd be planning, because you can't see the other side as you go, um, especially with like day cover deco like this, where it really needs to look like matchy matchy across the board. It's really helpful to be able to line them up like this. Um, I'm not gonna copy exactly, but just so I have a general idea. Um, okay, so anyways, what was I saying? I was saying something. Is it about the planner meetup? Oh man, I totally lost it. Totally lost it. I apologize. So many people had so many like good ideas. It was really cool to do that virtual planner meetup. And oh God, I wish I could remember what I was saying. Anyways, it was really cool to do that planner meetup and then like see people post, like kind of see people as they're planning. Um, for for those who um were planning like with their camera on the plans rather than their faces. Although it's kind of hard to see because you can't really zoom in on Zoom, which is um, ironic in a lot of ways. But it was cool to see like what everybody was coming up with and then to go on Instagram after since so many people were using the kit all at the same time um, to be able to like check that out afterwards was really cool. Um, okay, let's see. What can we do here? Maybe like, this is kind of already cut, but I kind of need it to be shallower. And then I can layer that like in between. That'll work. I kind of feel like I also need something right there. A little fan moment. Okay, I just tried to go back and figure out, like, rewatch the footage to see what I forgot that I was talking about. But honestly, I'm so, it's pretty late at night right now, um, which often happens for me. That is often when inspiration strikes, or at least I feel like I don't have any competing time or interests for being able to sit down and plan but um yeah I'm really really tired <laughs> and I can't figure out how to go back and watch what I just filmed so I guess we'll never know or you'll know but I won't know for a very long time until I edit this um I am 
Try, oh shoot, I almost realized I'm, I'm kind of copying. I don't want to copy. I just want it to be similar but not the same. Um, I'm trying to film as much as I can right now. Um, and I'm prioritizing this too because my husband is out of town this weekend. And it's a lot easier for me to film like talk through stuff um, when he's not here. I get really distracted like, I don't care if he hears, I do care if he hears me. Like, it doesn't bother me. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't bother me that he would hear what I'm saying if he were to hear me when I talk or do voiceovers or anything like that. But I prefer to do it when he's not home or he's like on the Peloton or something um, because I get really distracted if I can hear him moving around. Like, it distracts me while I'm talking and trying to focus. If I hear him out there, then I'm like, what is he doing? Is he listening? Where is he going? Is he going to come in here? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know why. So anyways, he's out of town this weekend and I have a lot of time to myself, which I'm very excited about. Um, so I'm trying to get as much of this filmed as I can. And frankly, I'm trying to get a lot of summer stuff like caught up on because, um, I am going to, Hawaii again, which I'm really excited about for vacation next week. And that's why I didn't go with him this week, actually, because I feel like it's too much to go. He's literally going to Tahoe and then he's coming back for one day and then going to Hawaii for a week, which is too much for me. So anyways, um, that is like early September. So I am so behind in planning and I'm really going to try to film as much as I can right now this weekend. Um, heading into that because I'll have a lot of time, knock on wood, if all goes well. Um, I knock on wood too because I feel like I often, sorry, this is so, I'm so tired. I don't know if I'm making any sense. <laughs> Not that I ever make sense, but um, I often feel feel as though I forget, um, like when I'm running out the door packing for something. And a lot of times I, I plan to edit while I'm on vacation and have the time to do so, especially like on planes and stuff. Um, but I often feel like I forget things that I need to edit, like a charger or a memory card or whatever happens to me all the time. But anyways, my goal is for me to get as much as I can done now, especially summer stuff or spring stuff. Um, and then be able to edit a lot while I'm on the plane and in Hawaii, since I won't be able to film at all. And yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully, make some stuff happen that way, get some videos uploaded that way. And, um, then not that I'll ever catch up. I'm, I'm so far behind. My strategy for right now is, I don't even know if this is a good strategy, but it's just to kind of let go of all of the weeks that I didn't do anything interesting and like those weeks, I just got to let them go. They're gone and try. And instead I have the reason I'm so behind. Well, one of the reasons why I'm so behind right now is because I have had so many fun experiences and done so much fun stuff, um, this year, um, and been out of town so much. So I'm going to try and prioritize filming all of those weeks. So I look back if I ever want to look back on this stuff, which I guess is really the goal of memory planning. I don't know. That's arguable, I guess. But looking back and having weeks where I did do something fun, having that in my planner rather than having um, a bunch of weeks where I just, you know, went to work and didn't do anything exciting on the weekend, maybe went out to dinner once or something, or maybe I just sat inside all day. Um I'd rather, and that, like, that's kind of what happened in my planner last year is I had, I also traveled a lot, um, like last fall and I don't have any of those weeks planned. Um, so I, but I do have a lot of random weeks <laughs> that I didn't do anything planned. So I'm going to prioritize weeks that I actually did something fun, um, and go back and try and plan those. So that's, that's the goal right now. We'll see how far I get, but. Um, yeah. And again, I'm not gonna, I'm never going to catch up. It kind of will be what it is, but 
I would like to get as much done as I can before I leave. So that way when I'm actually in Hawaii, I can focus on that. And then when I come back in September, I will feel like, not that I'm going to go full speed and only do fall spreads in, in September, but I'd like to feel a little less behind um, at that time would be good. So that way I can start doing some fall spreads in September because I am someone who like, I really enjoy doing, um, seasonal things. Like I get very inspired by seasonal deco and I enjoy, I think I'm like a lot of people. I prefer watching seasonal stuff, but for, you know, my favorite planners, I will watch whatever they put out. I don't care, but I would like to ultimately be able to have this be a bit more seasonal and updated. So yeah, that's the thought process. And I, I hate to like say it out loud because I don't know. I feel like I never stick to the plan, <laughs> especially for planners. My like when I'm trying to map out my um, YouTube stuff, I just, I feel like that's true of a lot of planner YouTubers that I've seen over the years, you know, best laid plans kind of a thing. And I think for so many people, um, I don't want to talk for anybody else, but I just feel like over the years I've watched where <laughs> we all like want to <laughs> prioritize, um, our planner stuff, like in a perfect world we would, but it's just, it is at the end of the day for a lot of us who are not shop owners, like it's, it's just a hobby. And unfortunately like creative hobbies, um, are one of the first things that have to go when life is busy or overwhelming, you know? So that sucks, but it's kind of the reality. Um, yeah. And I don't know, as far as like being behind with this, I just, I honestly, I think Rachel is the only person that I know who is currently like has a similar planning style to me. Like I would say like, I don't know how to say it, like as detailed almost <laughs> would be the word I'm looking for, um, who has managed to stay caught up with the plans. I think for, and I don't know how she does it, frankly, I think for, it's amazing. I'm amazed by it. But I think for a lot of people, like, I don't know how quickly she works. She must work really fast. Um, and I know that she just has a good work ethic and is very efficient, but like, I am none of those things. And <laughs> I also, um, just like this, this planning style, the way it's evolved over the years where it's so detailed and like, you know, now I've spent, I don't even know, at least 40 minutes when I add up this just on day cover deco. Um, it's to do the entire spread takes at least five hours. And then if you add in, um, editing that for me is at least a few hours A voiceover is, I don't know if the spread is 20 minutes and it's 20 minutes. If it's a 45, it's 45. And then actually uploading probably takes me like 15, 20 minutes and then editing photos, making reels, posting about the video on your Instagram stories. Like that's all, you know, those are more hours right there. It's kind of unsustainable as a hobby. <laughs> Just like if you're not doing it full time to do that every single week. So I th think, you know, I think that's part of it is like, and I shouldn't speak for everybody. I'm speaking for myself. The way I do it, I don't think it's sustainable, um, for my lifestyle, having a full-time job, um, and other hobbies and social commitments and whatever else, you know, commitments to my home and relationship, all those things. Like I can, I do not, I can't like to, for me to do this and do it the way I like it and do it well, it takes me like, I don't know. I think 10 hours is not too conservative of a guess of like how long this whole process start to finish takes me. So a lot of people don't have 10 spare hours in a week just for a creative hobby. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not managing my time as well as I could. I mean, that's always true. That's definitely true, but just some thoughts. I'd love to hear yours about how this has grown and how much more time planning takes than it used to. I mean, it is like, it is serious how much more time it takes than it used to. And I love it. Like, I feel like I, 
I rallied for that. I wanted it to be this way. I continue to, I enjoy my spreads when they are so detailed and there's so much going on. Like that, that's, that is what fulfills me when I do all this stuff. It really does. But, um, so don't, don't get me wrong and think that I don't like that because I do. It just, it, the reality is the way I want to do it. It's just kind of not possible with my lifestyle to keep caught up. Um, but yeah, would love to hear your thoughts on that below. Okay. I need to think about what I'm going to do for the month section. I will be right back. Okay. I think I have an idea. I am, again, it is now midnight. It is so late and my brain is like not fully functioning. Like I'm feeling real slow and the ideas are not coming in real hot. <laughs> um, like this happened really quickly cause I was just able to like copy paste essentially what I did on the other side. Um, but this, the for when I did the first half, that probably took me like at least 40 minutes <laughs> to sit there and figure it out. And then this part, I just sat down and tried to think about for a little bit and hopefully I got something that I like at least a little bit. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I feel like there's so much stuff in this kit that's so inspiring to me, especially like the deco on this sheet. And um, like I don't want to mess it up because I'm tired and I love the kid so much and whatever. Um, but I don't know. I'm also just really inspired by the kit and I almost feel like, I don't know, I don't want to jinx it, but I just feel like so many good things can come with the stuff in here. There's just so much good stuff. Taking a palm tree from Bloom Paper Studio. I'm laying that down right there. Cute. And then I kind of want to take the two surfboards, but I don't want it to look crowded. Let's see. I don't know. Like, I nowadays, I only want kits that have this big extra deco sheet <laughs> for the sidebar like that's such a bit fun part of this for me oh yeah it's too big I wish I had slightly smaller um surfboards to go right there but yeah it's such a big part of it for me now um it kind of goes on I I feel like this is always my opportunity where I get to like talk about my feelings <laughs> with planner stuff just because I don't know what else I'm going to talk about. These videos are always so long because it takes me so long to plan. Um, but one of the reasons I, I talk often about how like pretty much four times a year, whenever the season change, I, I end up feeling this kind of stress and I talk about it a lot of how, um, you know, I have a lot of PR obligations and a lot of shops will, especially shops I PR for, will start well, not just shops, just a lot of shops will start releasing seasonal stuff for like right now, fall hasn't even started and I am already seeing winter kits from a lot of shops, but we're still in summer. Like they're more than a season ahead at this point. And that's difficult for me because I feel stressed and I feel pressured <laughs> when that happens. Um, again, cause I do have PR things or I just, in general, I just don't like the idea of like moving on in the planner world before I'm like ready to, and I'm still enjoying the season. Like I want to be present and whatever, enjoy the season in the moment that it's in. Um, but, um, I don't like that at all. Um, but yeah, so I talk about that a lot. And one of the things that happens, like a more practical thing, that's not just how I feel, but that's like a real thing is not that my feelings aren't real, but that like an actual, like factual thing that happens when kits are being released, um, more than a season ahead. So we're in August and we're seeing winter kits. Winter goes what from January, December, I don't know, through like March, people might still be using winter kits. At that point, you're more than six months ahead. You're a half a year ahead when you're buying things. Um, and tr trends change a lot, like in a, in a year in the planner community in a big way. So for me, one of the reasons that I wait until I'm closer to a season is, to buy kits is because I, um, 
I want my kits to be more current with like what's actually going on in the planner community. I just find that if I'm you know, buying kits a year in advance or half a year in advance, by the time it comes to using them, I'm like feeling like I don't have all the parts and pieces and whatever, all the current stuff that I want for that, that time by the time I, you know, actually have it in my hand to use it or have it, not have it in my hand, but by the time I actually have um it's time to use it. especially me too like my problem is exacerbated by what I was just talking about being that like I am perpetually very behind in my planner and already at like planning seasons behind you know <laughs> like if I were going in chronological order I would still be in April <laughs> of like there's April spreads I haven't done <laughs> So that doesn't help at all. That doesn't help anybody. That's no one's fault. But I don't know. That's just part of it for me. It's something I think about. Um, Like, you know, I'm planning summer right now. And I'm not planning with kits that I bought in February. I'm planning with this kit that I got relatively recently. Because it has um, it has all of the stuff I want in it. You know, like it has, it's current. It has current stuff in it. Whereas stuff in... March when people were first releasing summer kits or February I don't know a lot of the stuff that I use now and look for like these giant deco sheets or journaling stuff that wasn't as prevalent as it is right now so I don't know it's just something to think about I, again as always whenever I'm chatting about this stuff in my plan with me is I would love to hear your thoughts about it all too um so I'm not just talking into a vacuum but those are some of mine. So there's that. Okay. What do we think? I like it. The little month section. I wish I had a smaller surfboard to put right there. I think that'd be really cute with like the waves, but, um, and I feel like I need a little bit more color, but I do like that. It feels similar with like the scallop and stuff to what I did over here, but not the same. Like it's still different, but kind of has the same shape. So cool. Maybe I'll come back to that. I'm going to work on the rest of the sidebar now, though. Okay, I just put down this box. I forgot to hit record. Um, I love all of these boxes, but there is not a quote box, so it was kind of up to me which one went up here. I chose this one because um, for the sidebar, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to use the lifeguard stand, and but all the rest of this is kind of like up for, you know, there's a possibility, so I'm not going to use any of the other clip art ones, I guess this one doesn't have. Anyways, I chose that one. <laughs> um, I think though it is really late at night. I'm going to go to bed for right now. And just because I'm so tired, I feel like I'm not thinking through anything I'm saying and I don't want to accidentally say anything wrong <laughs> and offend anybody. Not that I think I'm going to offend anybody. I don't know. I don't, I am just going to go to bed and we will pick up again in the morning. <laughs> All right, it's the next morning for me. Um, I've been up for a while out in the garden and stuff, but I feel like I still sound sleepy. <laughs> I apologize. I don't know. My voice is always like that. It stays like that for hours. I don't know what it is. I feel like other people don't, that doesn't happen. But anyway, um, I feel much more alert. I'm on my second cup of coffee. <laughs> um, okay. So I kind of turned the camera on without a plan, which isn't the smartest thing when you're doing a voiceover. I mean, a talk through, but I do have, um, so this sheet is part of the kit. I tend to not prefer, sorry, sorry. Um, when shops do these kinds of sheets where they're just like blocks of color, um, because I don't know, for whatever reason, my brain has a hard time. I think because I like white space. <laughs> my brain has a hard time like picking out what to do with the stuff here. But I did notice that there are a couple dividers, which um, I always need some of in the sidebar. So I think for now, I'm just going to put that pink divider up top there. And then I'm thinking maybe a like ocean. I kind of want a floral up here, but I don't, I don't know. I feel like... I'm having a hard time um, visualizing what would go there that doesn't like I don't want to take away from any of the waves because I think those from Bloom Paper Studio the sticker is just so beautiful the way that she did that I just love it I think she did such a good job so but I do feel like I want some pink there's a lot of that kind of blue color 
Let's see. Can I? I feel like I did this last night. I was like, yeah, no. Mm, okay. What if we go for like a darker blue and a pink flower? Like that and then like. I mean, it just looks kind of random. I don't know. Better than nothing. Okay, I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to overthink it too much. Um, and then oh, my sticker piles are getting a little crazy over here. But what I'm looking for is another one of these. Again, bless Jess for sending me three of these sheets. If you're watching, Jess, thank you so much. <laughs> um, because I totally will use them all <laughs> in this spread and in others. Okay. And then I think I'm going to put the wave from the kit right here. I just think that's cute with like the sand. I mean, it's a cute divider no matter what, but particularly cute to put at the bottom where there's sand right there. And then I remember seeing in the kit, yes, right here. Oh, I forgot about these dividers. Those are really cute. Um, This is from the kit and I love it. I just think it's the prettiest prettiest thing I also like too that it's um a similar color not the same color but a similar color to what I have going on at the bottom um I don't know why just to kind of like frame this oop I'm going the wrong way frame this section I feel like that'll look good um so I'm gonna lay that down I'm probably gonna regret laying it down because I think I'm gonna want to put some florals underneath it let me look at her big sheet. This one's kind of big. Oh, not very kiss cut, I will say, around. Let me think through what I want to do here. So I do want to write that I went to LA and met my nephew for the first time. And I want to put that in the sidebar here because that's what I like to do in the sidebar. I basically like to decorate it. And then if something like noteworthy happened that week I like to put the noteworthy thing in the sidebar um so like when I'm looking through my planner spreads um in the future I can look at the sidebar and like without having to look at the entire spread and try to see if something like that happened I can just find it um so I also really I like this background like ocean sunset looking box and then I also really like these uh, this chair and the umbrella as well as the two surfboards that's what I'm going to prioritize using so I think I'm just going to have to I think I'm just going to have to start and then see what happens because I don't really have a vision yet which I feel like I'll get myself into trouble for not for just going without having the vision <laughs> but, but we'll see I feel like is this sticker longer Oh, it sure is. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I'm gonna grab, I think then, I think what I'll do is split one of these in half and layer them together. We'll see how that looks. If I, um, okay, lift it up and then I think this was like about right here and about right there. A little crooked. That's okay. And then layer that over the cut edges. Okay, cute. And then I'll put probably some like birds or foil or something in there. Um... Okay, so let's see. I'm going to grab this giant sticker and kind of see what the placement of this looks like. Do I want to do the scene like down here? Or kind of center it? Hmm. Okay, so what I'm thinking right now is I have 
I have a couple stickers that I was planning on using um, outside of the collection too. I really like this swing, um, sorry, from Bloom Paper Studio and then um, these palm trees right here. Oh, there we go. I really want to use those in the sidebar too. So I'm trying to just put together how to incorporate all of that into the sidebar with also the clip art in the kit. So it's both foiled and, you know, um, but there's also room for everything. So I'm kind of thinking if I put, hmm, okay, I don't know exactly what I kept and what I'm going to edit out, but I think I'm going in the wrong direction here with like the box. I think I should try and keep it a little bit more like decorative on the sidebar. So what I might do instead is like try and layer some of these sideways. And I'm going to try not to really stick anything down in, in a permanent feeling way because I don't want to do that just yet. But um, just kind of playing around to see what feels, what feels good. Okay, I don't know if I like <laughs> what I did here, um, and I could not talk through it. I had nothing, I think, about what I said earlier is the same. It just wasn't working, um, but I ended up using the Bloom Paper Studio trees as a background, adding in the... Um, adding in the swing. I'm going to decorate a little bit more around that and just kind of fill it up. Um, we'll see. I don't know. It's again, it's not my favorite thing I've ever done. It feels like there's so much good stuff in here that I'm just like throwing it all at the page. Um, and, and I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. It's fine. Um, and I didn't end up putting that I was like in LA meeting my nephew here, but that's okay. I feel like I'll remember. Um, so I'm going to keep decorating. I feel like it's one of those things where if I do it simply, it looks good. If I do it really a lot, it'll look good. But this kind of in between, it still doesn't look fully finished. Well, I don't know. I could end up feeling like it's way too much very soon, but I don't know. I feel like I just kind of want to keep, keep going right now. Um, I want to do some sort of like dangle here. I need to find some sort of rose gold dangle. I need to work on reorganizing some of my stickers. Um, right now, I don't have a specific section for like dangles and garlands, which is funny to me because they're so prevalent, but it just hasn't been like whenever I originally did my sticker organization, they weren't. So right now I'm just kind of like, putting it in the category of like other, I don't know. I think I have a category for just like foiled accents <laughs> or it's non floral accents is what I've called it. And, um, I don't know. I feel like we can do better. So that one was from Sadie stickers. And then I feel like I want another kind of just I like the floral on the side to just kind of like make it all look like it's intentional and like in a defined area. Um, which is definitely easier said than done, but 
I don't want to like overcrowd it, but I do want it to look like, like I feel like having some of the definition helps it look like it's more purposeful. So like if I cut this where the line of the column is, then it looks like, okay, I'm working within the border of the column. And all of this is just framing, like intentionally framing in what I'm working on. I don't know. I feel like that kind of works. Get some dots, that always helps. Maybe some more birds will help. <laughs> Okay, I think that is going to be it for now. Again, I'm not in love with it. I kind of feel like I did too much, but it was fun. <laughs> so there is my super crazy sidebar. Okay, one last thing. I don't know. I'm going to zoom you in. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little bit of white space in between this border right here. Then there's white space and you can see the little palm tree. Um, I can't think of the word of that. <laughs> I, t I need more coffee. The whatever, not the stem. What's it called? On a, not a break trunk, the palm tree trunk. Um, and that's on white space and then the other border. So I think what I'm going to do is like, I don't like that. I want to create more layers here. So I'm just going to like really, really shallowly cut the edges off of this sticker right here to create like a really super shallow border. And it's kind of silly, but I think I'll just, I, I think I'm just going to like the like layers on top of layers on top of layers look, um, you know. That is something that I always am into is just as many layers. This one is too shallow. Dang it. As many layers as possible is a fun, fun look for this sort of thing. Maybe I can just. Maybe in the middle, this one will work. Kind of silly, but I like it. <laughs> oh, here, let me get you a better view. There we go. Okay, cool. Okay, so I just did this. Um, I think I probably sped through it for you. I was, oh, I was on the phone holding for like a appointment, <laughs> not an appointment, but it, like, you know, when you have to call and they put you on hold. So I was like, not, you know, still gotta, still gotta be productive since this is going to take me forever. Oops. Wrong foil. Um, so I did it off camera, but it just was to mark my meetings, which I am, um, fairly confident that I will do again over the course of this plan with me similarly so I'll talk about it whenever that comes I'm gonna grab a pretty pink coat box to layer over top um the box from the, the third box from the kit uh bummer I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to cover up some of those dots which is kind of a bummer because those are really pretty but it's okay I feel like she maybe made those a little bit smaller than they used to be, um, which is fine. So right now I'm marking a town hall that I had for um, a company like wide town hall. So I think I'm going to grab another one. I really like these um, leaves. Obviously, well, I just used one right there. That's okay. I'm just going to kind of continue to fill this space and then take like a smaller 
It's like a small pink flower. Um, maybe like one of these. That, like that. Um, do I want to do an icon? I guess I could do one in this lower area. I don't know. I could do like a beauty one since I work in the beauty industry or I could do, these are just like a stack of ones that I've used recently <laughs> next to me. Let's see if I have any like, hmm. use a coffee cup. I think I might just use the skincare because I think that's kind of cute in it. Like I said, it's company wide. So I feel like using a beauty icon for that's kind of cute. And I also just like the, like, I like that this angle is going this way and this angle is going this way. I feel like that looks good. So I'm just going to write, I think, town hall at 10 a.m. Okay, cute. And then, of course, I'm going to grab, I wish I had a sampler of like the quad dots and the triple dots, but all the triple dots except for the ones that were not, the. I don't like the straight line ones, but I like the rest of them. I wish I had these two on a sampler. That is like all I would need, I think. Um, okay, I'm going to grab this guy that there and maybe one of the rounder or more triangular I guess they're all triangles but I don't know why this feels more like a perfect triangle okay cute and then I think I'm gonna put my full box under here so now I think this guy over here and then what I have to decide now is what I want to do about the headers. These are the headers that come with the kit. I don't know. I like the waves, but I do feel like it's a bit busy. So there's also these little scallops that come with the kit. And then there's also these guys that come with the kit. So I think I might do on top of all of the boxes, I might do this guy. So I'll put this pretty close. Put that like that. And then maybe one of the scallop ones like this under. And then I can find the waves, then maybe like a wave um, underneath. I think I just like it better. Oh, sorry, can you see? I think I just like it with the scallop on top and then the wave at the bottom. Okay, so at the bottom here, I want to mark, um, this was a pretty, pretty boring Monday, but I went to the grocery store and I meal prepped a bunch of pasta. So um, I think I'm going to take this kind of patterned pink box, which um, if, if you've been around me for a while, you know that I don't love to write on pattern boxes, but what I do really love to do is um, take whited out boxes or shapes in the same shape and uh, that have like a foil border and layer them on top to make like, you know, I, I literally just did it up here. I like to do that. Um, so the problem is, so I actually had partnered with Paper Trail Plans on making these like mini box samplers. There's a bunch of different shapes and a bunch of different sizes that are supposed to layer like the pretty pink co ones that I just used are intended where they're not intended to do anything, but I they fit really well to go over third boxes. Paper trail plans, uh, and I worked to make these ones that are meant to go over like midi boxes or boxes that do not take up um, the full width of a column. So like this one that I'm doing right now. This small so there's three different sizes on these samplers. The smallest size of this one does not work, which is a bummer. 
Um, so I don't know, Susie and Jess, if you're watching, if you would like to make a smaller one, I've noticed it doesn't work for some of the other kits, boxes and kits I use too, but if anybody would like to make one that does fit over these really tiny boxes, I would appreciate that. I'm going to use this trick. I can't remember where I got this from. I almost feel like I did it. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, <laughs> someone, some people do this trick where you cut a section of the box out and then line up what you have left. It's not ideal because then you have to write over that bump, but you can make the boxes fit that way. Oh, sorry. Did you even see? I essentially just cut out that centerpiece and put those together if you couldn't see that. And then I'm going to take a floral... Oh, I keep wanting to use those green branches because they're just so pretty. Um, I'm going to take a floral, maybe not a green branch. Oh, maybe I will. I don't know. To kind of cover that up. God, I feel like I'm doing the same thing. Okay, let me find a different way to mark the floral. I'll try the little blue palm and then layered with a little flower. I don't know. I kind of like my branch better, but I'm trying to switch it up a little bit. So I will just write grocery store. And I don't think I'm going to use the icon. It's just too small. Um, but what I will do is grab a, I have a ton of palm leaf like samplers from CD stickers and the Pretty Pink Co. I think I'm going to grab this one from the Pretty Pink Co. and just stick that underneath these two. There we go. Like that. Okay. And then maybe a couple of birds. Down here. All right. It's another day here. Um, so you can <laughs> have a sense of how long these take me. Um, but I am down at the bottom here. And what I want to mark is that I did a big like pasta meal prep this night. And I was kind of going back and forth between whether or not I wanted to use this really beautiful half box. Um, or if I wanted to use one of these really pretty scallops, which I like both of them a lot, but... I don't know. I like to use the scallops this direction and then put um, the florals kind of on the bottom. I feel like these were kind of intended to go the other way, so I might try to put them at the top of a column. Anyways, I think I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to maybe... I don't know. I'm a little unsure about placement, but I do know that what I wanted to try um, was... I really like this like dangle design that is in the box, but you know, I also like to layer um, my own little shapes over top. So what my thought is, is instead of doing a um, rectangle box in the middle here, I have these ovals, which is one of the shapes that's a part of the like mini samplers that Paper Trail Plans made. And I feel like I kind of, maybe this middle sized one would be a good, even a large one could be a good, like, no, let's try mini. I mean, sorry, middle sized. I feel like it could just be kind of a different, interesting shape. And it will kind of like go where you can still see the dangle. I don't know if I exactly got that centered, but I like the idea of that. And then I have my pasta bowl, which I think I can put down here. I don't know where I want that just yet. Let me grab some florals first. Here we go. Um, 
I wish there were some more, like all of the florals are pretty round. I wish there were some more elongated ones because I don't know if you could tell, but I like to use like elongated ones on the tops and corners of things. And I think that's why I keep reaching for these because I can make like a more elongated version. Um, maybe something like this. Ooh, I just tore that sticker in half. Maybe had I already cut it in half? That is entirely possible because that was a perfect tear down the middle. I probably already pre-cut that. Uh, let's see if I can find that on a different sheet. I think it was this guy. Hmm. The shape of it's a little weird for what I'm going for. I might just go with the pink palm and then one of this more straw colored flowers. I wish it was a little smaller. Um, I think I'm gonna do something similar that I did right there and another um, palm. This is my um, this is the Riente binders and I have, um, I guess I should use a different palm leaf. I have the new versions of these Tuesday um, sheets where you can access it on both sides, but these I did a while ago before those came out. So this is the version that is not accessible by both sides. Doesn't matter to me though. I think they're both fine. Um, I'll just stick that in there. Okay, so for the postable, I like that the drop kind of fits in between the bow and the fork. I think that looks really cute. So some things I think about when I'm placing icons like this is before I lay it down, how I'm going to write it. And I can see here that I'm going to have enough room to write meal here prep in between right here and then pasta which is a longer word down there so just something I I think about <laughs> when I'm doing this and then I think I'm going to take this little greenery and place that underneath okay pretty fancy looking just to mark meal prepping <laughs> but I don't know I used to like the way I used to plan was I would mark things in my planner that were very like mundane or boring. I wouldn't like give them the time of day in my planner at all. Those would be the more like I would write them in a more boring way. And then the things in my life that were exciting, like going to a wedding or something like that, those things I would spend a lot more time decorating. So when you looked at my planner, you could tell like where something fun happened. I'm gonna use one of these. I like that she's included some of her um, flourishes. I really like her flourishes. I'm not normally a huge flourish person, person but I like hers. Um, anyways, I used to kind of function like that. And then, I don't know, I feel like as planning has gotten more decorative, I've kind of made that adjustment to be more decorative all the time. <laughs> um, and I feel like I can attribute that to Tay a little bit. She has always had the attitude of like, you know, you can make it fabulous in your planner if you like, even if it's not. And um, I kind of had to learn to do that because that was not always my, that was not always my instinct. Is that cute? Okay, I think I'm gonna take a couple um, dots. Oh, I just had a couple cup, cups of coffee in my hands are shaky. And then, um, some birds. Stick those there. Okay, there we go. There is Monday. I'm debating, oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm debating if I want to add any um sparkle in the columns i feel like i totally should so let me grab um some of those stickers 
All right, I have my Pretty Pink Co. Dainty Washi Strips. These really are my favorite. If you haven't picked them up yet, I totally recommend it. Um, they just are so dainty. They really are. I, I really feel like I can add them to absolutely any spread and it just enhances like it's going to match literally anything you put down and you can use it anywhere. Like it's so versatile. I like using it obviously in the side like this, although it is, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty expensive to do this because, um, you know, you use like two sheets per spread doing this. But um, I also really like to do it in the bottom washi and in the date cover section like it's just a really a really pretty washi strip and it also has the trims that come with it so I'm trying to lift this so it goes underneath that icon um okay there we go i'm gonna cut it then right underneath the Oh, sorry if you can hear me slamming my tweezers around right underneath the border and then I need to find the border that I want to do at the bottom I'm kind of almost tempted to do some like I have some like seashell borders from I can't remember from, the, from CD stickers but I kind, of, I kind of feel like with this bottom washi being so busy like this top strip that um, this is what I'm talking about right here. Um, I don't know if you can see through the plastic. I don't know if that's going to be too busy. Also, uh, might just be smart to go with um, maybe this so the top matches the bottom. I think that's probably going to be my best bet. Okay, cool. All right, there we go. Now that's Monday totally done. Okay, Wednesday was a pretty boring day. Um, you know, just a whole lot of real life. Um, middle of the work week. So I'm gonna, ooh, that was off. I'm gonna start with my full box down at the bottom here and then I have another one of my freebies from Sadie's stickers. I updated this for fall, but I kept a lot of the same stuff just because, I don't know, I have just some of my absolute favorite basics on there and I really find that anytime I do a rose gold spread, it has just like the basics that I can pull in with any spread any time of year and it's just so functional. So, um, but I do have some fun updates that I'm excited about for that. Okay, so there's the box down there. Um, and then up top, I had four meetings this day, filmed a haul on a plane with me, and then I planted out some beans, which is exciting. They're so cute right now. They're just kind of starting to get going. Um, all right. I think I want to move the meetings down low so they're not like right next to each other. And then that means I should probably start with marking filming up top. So I'm going to do that. Okay. So I think I'm going to mark a filming day up here and I'm going to lay down this scallop. Like I said, I feel like these were kind of intended to go with this scallop. I don't know, but to me, it seems like they should go with the scallop facing, um, downwards and the straight line on top. So, and I have a couple ideas for this. I'm just going to kind of Place it down for a second there and then I kind of want to continue that like draped look so I'm going to take one of these dainty mini garlands they match the rest of like the dainty line from the pretty pink co and just cut one in half and then um, I'm gonna put each half underneath maybe I should do this more like this Hmm, I might have to cut it up a little bit more because the the hope was that I'd be able to get a little bit more of, let's see if I maybe do it like this and I'm going to cut off like 
just going to start messing around and see what happens here. I have no idea if this is going to work, which is the case most of the time when I'm planning. <laughs> I feel like the amount of stuff that I cut out of my plane with me is, is like more than the stuff that's included with how often I like don't get it right the first time. So I'll just like me messing around. Okay, I probably cut a lot of that out because it was messy and whatever, but I just kind of finagled those stickers so that they're kind of coming down um from either side and I don't know I don't know if it was worth it but I do like the extra sparkle <laughs> and then I think what I'm gonna do on top is again I'm struggling with the kind of lack of like the fact that a lot of the florals are not super like <sighs> flow you know what I'm saying there's no they're all kind of like central they're not or like circular they're not long I tend to really like long but um well I like a mix of both because sometimes you want a central one but a lot of times I don't a lot of times I want one that's I don't know I just want to mix Okay, and then I think for that top part, I'm gonna grab one of my Sadie Stickers freebies and add the dot up until the flower. So I'm gonna just write film all and plan with me. I'm not going to put an icon. Okay, cute. All right, moving on, I'm going to mark that I'm going to, or that I planted out some beans on this day. Um, I'm going to take this pink circle and then I'm also going to grab once again, <laughs> see if I can find my circles from, here we go, from the paper trail plans. Uh, sampler collection. I almost feel like the largest one is going to be the best fit. Let's see. Yeah, I actually really like that because then you kind of just barely get that like scallop border around it. I think that's really, really pretty. And then I'm going to take a, maybe this one that I already pre-cut and layer the florals in kind of on either side. I really like taking hmm, yeah I really like taking um, florals and cutting them in half and then putting them on either side like this and then I do have my uh, gardening sampler from White Deer Stationery. I think I'm going to take these blue gardening tools Kind of stick them under this right here. Mm. Maybe just kind of next to it, really. And I'm just going to write plant out beans. Okay, cute. And then we need to like Obviously, we've got to do some decorating, so maybe some birds right here, and then something foiled over here. Should I grab a palm tree? Is that too much? I don't think so. And some dots. Okay, cute. And then from there, I got to mark my meetings. Okay, so I'm going to mark meetings pretty much the same way I did here, but I do want to angle the sticker to the other side a little bit just to like switch up the direction. And then I will do something 
similar but not exactly the same I think um, like I'm gonna grab a blue frond dried frond I have this exact dried frond in my bathroom except it's kind of like a more natural color um, I'll try and remember to add a little clip of it in case you're interested they're really cute um, I have like more sagey green yeah okay so I can kind of stick that like that and then maybe I'll take like one of these pink ones and then the cream colored I don't know what this is supposed to be oops my hands are so shaky I need to eat too much coffee no food okay so we'll stick her kind of like this and then that behind and then I do like the birds that I put over here we'll do a little more of that and then over here I put a palm behind there I think I want to put one right here so this is a Monstera leaf. It's also from the Pretty Pink Co, but a different sheet. Um, I was going to try and stick with the palms because Monstera seems more tropical and palms seem more California, but that's okay. Um, and then I had put a shell, which is from um, Sadie Stickers. So I might grab like a starfish. Stick that right in the middle. Very beachy and then here is my four meetings scripts I don't I think that um, they had they've actually sent me I originally requested these and then um, Rachel had wanted them also but I think she requested that they were more like centered um, which I totally agree with. Um, and I think they then ended up sending me the ones that she had um, requested from them. Um, so I have those in my collection somewhere, but I don't remember exactly where. And these are right where I know where they are. So I'm just cutting them up and layering it like that. Um, and that goes for a lot of their stuff. I think that they originally designed a lot of their stuff with the like being very horizontal, but now they're vertically stacking more of their um, script designs, which I'm a really big fan of. So, okay, cool. So there's that. And then I think that's all I really am interested in marking right now. Not even I'm interested. That's all I have to mark. So um, I kind of want to grab another one of these palm tree scenes and then just layer some florals on top of it is what I'm thinking. If it'll fit, I don't know that it will fit. I wish I had another sheet of these from Bloom Paper Studio. Okay, cute. And then we'll grab some more birds and maybe a couple more dots. Um, I want some more spaced out ones. Um, I'm gonna grab my Miss and Meow ones, a little bit more spaced out. Stick those in there. And then I just need like a little border of, I'm gonna go like this and then like this to grab just like a little border of um, floral. Was that too much? Okay, so now I'm gonna cut. Cut me right along that top line. 
Okay, there we go. Cute. Um, I'm gonna lay down the sides and I'll be right back. All right, lay down the borders and there we go. That is what Tuesday looks like. All right, so once again, Wednesday, not a lot happening. So I'm going to take that opportunity to, um, let's see, sorry, I'm looking at the full boxes. I think I'm gonna take that opportunity to do, be a little bit more decorative um, in the middle of the spread, which is always fun. I'm going to take the middle box here and stick it or I don't know why I said the middle box. I'm gonna take this box and stick it in the middle. A lot of times I would stick it up top, um, but I kinda wanna do a design hanging from the top. So I don't know what that just was. Um, so I'm gonna stick it in the middle and let's see. So that means I need to pull one of these waves. I really love the design of her waves. I like waves that like, uh, the design you know a lot of shops have these kind of wave stickers i like when the waves don't look too sh choppy or like curved i like when they're a bit smoother um okay so what i want to do here then i think is i want to do another one of these swings so i think the way i want to do this one is maybe with this big like floral here kind of line that up and cut the side off and then we'll save that piece for later and then grab my where my swings go okay I have my swing I'm gonna stick it like this because I still want to have room to mark my meetings up here okay and then I'm gonna oh that's where I want it positioned, but I want it to go under the floral. Oh, I just stuck that down. I did not mean to. Okay, cute. I almost wanted to put the umbrella right here, but um, there's the umbrella right. Sorry, did you miss all that? <laughs> the umbrella is right here in this, so I think I'm going to have to um, grab this chair maybe instead and just kind of like layer in the chair maybe the bag too would be cute fun and then I think I'll just take some deco and decorate kind of around um, around all this so let's see let's stick this behind the bag in the chair well maybe I'll put it over the chair and behind the bag some good layers in there and I might cut this little flower in half so I can stick it kind of along the inside. Maybe like that. And I don't want to overdo it too much. Maybe like a couple of these. Um, I don't know what these little puff ball things are. Maybe like a couple of them, I'll like layer these together and then stick them kind of behind and wrap them around. So let's, let's see if I can get that. Okay, cute. And then, of course, always we'll do a couple of birds and some dots. There's my little beach scene. And then right under there, let's see. 
I hope I have t room to do my meetings. I may not be able to put them at quite the angle that I did the other ones at. Let's see. No. Okay. Meetings are going to have to go down here. Which is fine. Um, so I think what then I'll do here is grab a third box. I feel like I need some more of the blue or green color. I feel like I need the green. I'm going to end up covering up that palm tree, unfortunately, even though it's super cute. I'm going to take my pretty pink co box. Okay, put that there. And then what I want to mark here is that I got a new iPhone and I set up my iPhone this day. So let me find an iPhone sticker. Okay, so um, Tal has one on this new icons add on that you can get when you, um, well, you can get them in our shop. And I think they're intended to go along with the kits, but I don't know. I just think it's great as a sampler. Um, and then I am going to try to not way overdo it on the florals here. So I'm just going to cut one of these in half. And the goal is to cover up that little palm tree. Um, so you can't see that that looks like he's peeking out. So I'm just going to layer this right behind the little iPhone. And... Okay, ta-da! Set up new iPhone. All right, cute. Moving down to the bottom half. Okay, I'm gonna do pretty much the like exact same thing, or really similar as what I did right here for my meetings. Um, just just to keep it simple. I do like, sometimes I mark my meetings differently. Sometimes I mark them all the same or really similar like this. I like it. I feel like it's nice to kind of, like both ways, either way really, nice to have the consistency across the board. And it's also nice on, you know, times when I don't, um, when I mark them all differently to like have it be different every day. Um, but sometimes I feel like when you do have something that's the same every day, it kind of like, I don't know, it helps, I don't know. It's almost like if I were, I obviously this is like the least functional planner of all time, <laughs> clearly, but, um, if it were a functional planner, um, then having something, I don't know why my brain thinks like this, having something that's the same marked the same makes sense. So yeah, I don't know. There's like, a, obviously this is like an art project more than it is any type of um, planner in any way, shape or form. I mean, the word planner is just like inaccurate. <laughs> but I do like, I don't know. I like having the memory planner because um, it it's such a good way to like, like I feel like journaling I, when I was a little kid, I always wanted to journal and I just could never like keep up with it, keep consistent with it. Like at that, you know, when you're a little kid, you don't, it's the internet, when I was a little kid, the internet didn't really exist in the way it does now. You couldn't like journal prompts or something like that. Even as a teenager, I wanted to, and I just never like could, I never knew what to write about. Um, and then I also really like scrapbooking and I did that for a while. Um, but that's just kind of like the big memories, but I like having the memory planner to, um, I don't know, just kind of like have all of my stuff that I did in my life, like every day of my life, just like there, <laughs> it's cool. It's a cool thing. Um, 
just to see even the stuff that's like so mundane. Like when I started this hobby, I had just graduated college. Um, I didn't have a, I hadn't really like started my career yet. I didn't have a full-time job. And even looking back now at the mundane stuff that I would write into my memory planner was really interesting. It's really interesting for me to go back and see it. Like, cause sometimes when I'm just writing down, you know, how many meetings I had or like what was, what was going on in my life that week that was just like my to do's who I'm calling or like what my, what my little chores are for the day. Like it's interesting to me when I look back at the, my old ones to see those things. And so I, I try to remind myself when I'm writing down all this boring stuff, or if I'm like, eh, I'm not going to move that over into my memory planner that it actually like does. It's interesting to see like what my life was like and not just like, the exciting stuff who I had plans with and you know what I was doing on the weekends or whatever like it's all kind of fascinating to look back on um okay so there is my meeting and then the other thing I have to mark not have to the other thing I'm gonna mark is we had a taco night on this night so I'm gonna uh, look around for some stickers for that all right I think I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple I'm gonna take this scallop it has the birds but I kind of feel like the birds can go either direction so I'm gonna stick that here I'm gonna leave a little bit of room so that I can put my scallop on the bottom and it won't cover up the bottom of that um, and then I want to take a floral um, I think I'm gonna cut I think I'm gonna cut this one in half and stick I don't know I gotta, I gotta think this through. Yeah, I'm gonna stick some of it behind right there. And then I'm gonna stick, maybe I won't. I might actually just use one of these to take and layer it with the tacos. How can I do this? Okay. I like that. I'm going to end up cutting off the bottom. Like that. Okay, cute. And then I actually might put some of the palm trees behind it. Let me find some. Some of these guys. Kind of stick it right behind here. which means then we also need to grab some birds. <laughs> of course, I'm obsessed with these birds. I think they're so pretty. Um, I also feel like I need something over here. I'm just gonna use that wave as a divider right there. Do you see all that? Okay, and then I'm just gonna write in taco night over here. Okay, cool. And then let me grab I'm gonna grab one of my CD stickers freebies. I have such a sticker mess next to me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, here we go. Grab one of these. Stick that along the bottom and then I will do the sides. All right, that is Wednesday all finished up. Um, and then this is also just the first um, full half of the week. So I really like it. It's super like foily and crazy and busy, but I really like, I like how full it looks. So, all right, let's move on to part two. Okay, I was gonna not film doing, I put down 
um, or not talk through the full box. I'm doing my meeting since you've seen me do it. It's just getting a little bit repetitive. But this, I found um, some of the meeting scripts. Sorry, I'm so off center. Um, I found some of the meeting scripts that are the adjusted ones from Paper Trail Planes. I don't know if you could tell. Let me grab like an old one. Oh, here. Um, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. But in the old version... The one is all the way over here. Um, so if you are trying to center the script in the middle because this you don't want it to take up like a super uh, horizontal space or the full width of a column, I was cutting this out and putting it over top here. Now they're formatting their scripts so that whatever the top word is more centered over top um, the bottom word. So this two meetings is the updated version and I'm a big fan of that. So I'm going to try and see if I can use this without having to cut it up at all and see if I can. Yep. It'll fit perfectly. Oh my gosh. Perfect fit in that little calendar sticker. And then I am going to grab my Ray and Taco binder and flip to my shells and grab a little is it called a conch shell I think right there um I think I'm just gonna grab a singular bird and we'll just put some dots around it so it kind of matches some of the other birds okay cute so there we go, two meetings on Thursday. All right, hi y'all. Um, it is, I don't even know, probably like, is it weeks later? <laughs> At least a couple weeks. I feel like the last time I filmed was probably before I went to Hawaii, so maybe like two weeks since I filmed this. Um, and I have been thinking about it and wanting to film it, um, but you know, when you go on vacation at work, they, uh, it's just kind of wild and crazy when you come back. So, haven't really been able to. Um, but I've got some time today. Okay, I'm just messing around here to see if I like it. I put the, uh, the oval, the bigger one, over top of the, the, like, blue oval from the kit. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> It does, it's not really the same shape, but I'm thinking maybe if I cover it up with some florals, then it'll look good. So, um, the thing about the fact that I have not done this plan with me, or it's been a while since I filmed it, means I don't really remember what I talked about, which is always kind of tricky. Um, for instance, I want to mark right here that I was on passport calls all day and I'm trying to remember if I told you, I feel like I talked about that in this plan with me already that um, we're supposed to go to Italy, but my dad got injured, so we're actually not going to go until um, the spring of this year. So, which is fine. But at the time in June, I still thought we were going. So we were trying to figure out passport stuff and um, trying to sort out like how, I can't remember if I talked about this. I'm so sorry if I did. We were trying to sort out how we were going to get our um, passports at the same time because both my husband and I changed our names when we got married and we have not, had not updated um our passport so we both had to do it at the same time and we only had one marriage license oh which you need to like prove the whole thing anyways boring but we were just like on the phone trying to deal with this all day long so um yeah we worked it out the passport from the um white deer stationery so cute i love it and then um just kind of trying to decorate it i feel like i need to pull some more of these palm trees back in on this side. I'm going to put some of them at the very bottom of this Thursday because the rest of the, like this is, I only have a few things written down on Thursday. Um, the rest of the week is pretty busy. So I have some room 
to do some kind of more decorative stuff here and I'm going to take that opportunity. Okay, so I also feel like I need some birds. I love these birds. I want to use them in like all of my spreads now. All my summer spreads. <laughs> okay, cute. So what can I say? Passport calls. Yeah. Those are good, but that's okay. Okay. Maybe just a couple little dots. Some of these, like, around the tree. And maybe some of the... Um, hi there. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if... Um, my, I forgot to talk into the mic. Okay, so the other thing that I did this day was I went on Instagram live with Rachel and Tay. So I'm just taking a third box from the kit and then I'm going to see, I think the Pretty Pink Co. mini boxes is the right size to cover that. Yeah. We're a little off center. That's okay. Um, and then I'm grabbing a phone from Crafts by Towie. I can't find this sheet, so I had to grab one for the sampler. I know I have it, but it's not where it should be, so I must have misplaced it. But I love that it's a phone with a little Instagram live on it. I think that's so cute. And then maybe we'll just take, like, so this is a pink background. I might take one of these. Put that in the corner. I'll probably trim it. Yeah, I need more of that blue color. So I'm going to take one of these long and thin guys and just stick this like that. Okay, cute, cute. That's, I, I was trying to see if I wanted to add any more, but I think it's enough. And I'll take some more dots, of course. Okay. And I will just write IGTV live with Rachel and Tay. Cute. Super cute. Okay. So for Thursday, I want to have a little fun down here at the bottom just because I only have these three things written down. The rest of the week is really full. And then, um, yeah, I, I know that I want to be decorative down here because of that. It's the only place I'm really going to have room. And I want to use, where am I? One of these little palm tree scenes from Bloom Paper Studio. I have um, two of them in the uh, on the other side. So just for continuity sake, I want to put one down here. Um, but again, I want to have fun with it. So I have a couple ideas. I don't know, like exactly what's going to end up looking like too much and being too busy. But the thought was originally I was just thinking, okay, I'll, I'll put this down and then I was going to cut from the kit add on this pink, um, taco, put that over top and layer some florals. But then I realized I also have the beach chair left over. So I kind of want to use that and just see We could kind of make it like a background. So I still want to do both. Again, this may end up getting to be like the way too much spot, but we'll see. So if I layer this, I'm going to kind of off center it. I'm actually going to put it up a little bit because I want it to cover the line at the bottom of the trees. So anything that doesn't touch at the bottom, I will add some florals down there. So that way it all looks like, you know, it could look like the trees were going all the way down to the bottom. But I want it to still make sense with these trees. Okay, let's see. Ooh. 
And then like here, I'm trying to mimic the angle. Well, let me get it down first. It might be easier. Hopefully it looks like the trees are kind of in like the background and the chair and the umbrella are more in the foreground. Honestly, maybe we get rid of the umbrella. I think the chair is cute though. I wanted the chair and the umbrella to go together, but I kind of am feeling like the umbrella is too big, like it's too much. So, okay, so we'll leave it like that. Oops, with the chair, but I am going to add, sorry, that was probably really loud. I'm going to add the florals here. Just to kind of cover the lines. And just get lots and lots of layers is the goal. Maybe like the sky. Okay. Cute. Cute-ish at least. And then of course we'll take um, some birds. Oh, maybe even a wave. We'll put the wave right on the floral right there. I also am going to do the trim the same the same trim from my freebie from Sadie Stickers at the bottom of the column. Grab that freebie. I used them all up. All right, I'm grabbing a fresh freebie. Here we go. Maybe some individual ones too would be cute. Like this, and then maybe some dots that are more of the spread out variety. So I'm thinking like some of the Miss and Meow ones. I don't know where that went. Do you see them? They fell somewhere. Oh well. I'm sure, I'll find them later. Probably when I'm like taking pictures of the spread. <laughs> Okay, cute. So there's my little scene at the bottom there. I think that's super cute. Now I'm going to add my dots on the side. I'll fast forward through that. All right, there is Thursday and we'll move on now to Friday. Okay, so... Moving on to Friday, I actually, so at this point, I think I had worked from home all this previous week and for the past couple of weeks, um, but and this is kind of confusing because we're not following along the life, my, <laughs> my actual, like chronologically in my life, but I had at this point was back in the office for a few months, um, in a hybrid schedule going in a few days a week. And then I think like sometime at the end of May, somewhere in May, um, or yeah, I don't, I, I don't actually really remember, but sometime a week or two or a couple weeks, I don't know, before this, we, my coworker and I got the news that we were permanently remote again, which was super exciting. So I had to go back into the office for a couple days no, not a couple of days, a couple of hours this day, just to pack my desk at the office up and just take any of my like personal belongings back home. So, um, I'm taking one of the, um, circles from the kit add on the gathered layers kit add on. And then I'm going to layer it with the mini taco, the like foiled version that I have, um, also from the gathered layers collection. And then I'm going to take a desk from white deer stationery and i want to layer some florals with this obviously to kind of give it some more color maybe like one of the pink florals 
Does it only go that direction? It looks like it does. Bummer. Okay. Maybe like one of these. I don't know if this is going to work. It might be too big. Something like that, maybe. And then one of these small guys behind it. Okay, that's pretty cute. And then maybe something coming out from the bottom over here. Maybe this pink guy. Okay, and I'll take a blue flowers. Not really. Okay, maybe the tan flower to layer like that. Okay, great. And then we can cut cut that off. So I'm going to say in office to pack desk. Cute. And then of course we got to grab some of the fun foil deco. Grab some birds. Okay, cute, so there's that. Okay, so once I came back home from being in the office with my coworker and packing up our desks, um, one of my friends who lives um, on the other side of the country in DC was in town with her husband and one of their friends um, just for like a second because um, they were going to a wedding. I actually don't want to use that box. Um, so they stopped over to say hi, to hang out. I also had summer Fridays at this point too. So I was off work early. I think I want to use one of the smaller boxes rather than like the third box here just to like, I don't know. I don't really want to use an icon because I don't really have a particular icon to just mark them coming over to like my house and hanging out. It was just for a little bit just to say hi. Oh, I don't know. That one doesn't feel long enough let's see about the middle one I mean I could use like a house icon or something but I don't feel like I want to use icon I'd rather just decorate it mm. okay I take it back I am gonna grab the pretty pink co mini box just because yeah the length is really the difference um and I do think that the the pretty pink co mini boxes are better suited for the full length okay um let me also take a floral maybe um green and then and I'm going to take the green and stick it underneath I just like to use it to like kind of frame that um, but I am going to trim this off right here okay Okay, super simple. Um, and then from here, I am going to take a box and put the box down. Um, I think I'm going to grab this one and stick it pretty close because I don't have the header. Wow, I laid that down really straight. <laughs> 
And what was I using for the headers? Those little blue. Here they are. The little blue scallops. I honestly probably could have put that even closer. Um, try and keep that pretty straight. Okay, cool. And then I need... All right, here is my little wave divider. Cute. Okay, now down at the bottom. All right, so this evening was actually super fun. Um, my husband, well, two things happened. <laughs> one was like one of the scariest moments of my life and one was super fun. So my husband, um, the fun part, he, um, he does this a lot, but he'll oftentimes like buy himself tickets to like Warriors finals games or just like to go to Warriors games. I'll go with a friend. I think I'll even go by himself sometimes. Um, <laughs> but he bought, um, he asked me if we wanted, if I wanted to go. We decided a couple hours before we were supposed to leave that we were going to go to the Warriors uh, final game this day, which was really fun. Um, I had never been to a, um, an NBA, NBA game before, which is kind of crazy. Um, like, I don't know how, but I just had never been. And we were, we, it was at the um, Chase Center, which is like beautiful, brand new, um, really, really cool. I had a great time. It was super fun. Um, I'd like totally get it, get the appeal. Um, so that was amazing. And it was super, like, spontaneous. We literally decided maybe, like, I don't know, a just a couple hours before we were supposed to leave that we were going to do it. So, um, yeah, it was really fun. Just the two of us, too. Um, I'm just decorating that. I'm taking one of the scallops. And I'm kind of doing something similar to what I did to mark taco night on the other side. Even though this is obviously not taco night. Um, but the Chase Center was really cool. It had a ton of, like, um, Bay Area kind of classic, or not even classic, but just, like, Bay Area restaurants, like, Big Sale Betty's and Gots, which if, I don't know, if you're not from the Bay Area, you may not know those, but they're, like, really good, like, Bay Area restaurants, and they have them all within the center. It's very cool. Um, so, yeah, and all just, like, brand new, like, nothing was crowded or it, it was just really nice like there was tons of people there but the place is just huge um so that was really fun the part that was not so fun was that on the way over there and if if you are my parent watching this mom if you are watching this just click out <laughs> I'll tell you the story later I don't want you to hear it um but we got like we were on BART and we got chased by a homeless guy um, who kind of like picked us out of a crowd and targeted us for no reason. And it was literally the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. And I legitimately thought I was going to die. He chased us through the entire BART train and it was awful and traumatizing. And he was upset at someone else and thought it was us and it wasn't us and whatever. He obviously needed some help, but that was like the worst thing that's ever happened. So that, that shook us up a little bit. Okay, hold on. Let me finish planning this and then I'll figure out some way to mark that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to say Warriors final game. Cute. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know if I should put that in my planner. I don't want to be insensitive. Like, obviously, there was something wrong. But I also kind of want to remember. I mean, I will. I don't think I'll forget it as long as I live. Uh, thank God, by the way, that I was... I think it was maybe just a week or two before that... Um, did this happen on the same day? It must have. I don't remember. I'm getting I'm getting this all mixed up because I'm planning this months later. But I was like not about to go back on Bart myself after 
after this happened. Um, okay. I think I'm going to mark Gots because we got Gots. Or do we get Big Cell Betty's? I wrote Gots, but I feel like we got Big Cell Betty's. We definitely got Big Cell Betty's. I'm going to write that in my planner. Let me find an icon one sec. Okay. To write the... Should I just not write it in my planner? I almost feel like it's, like, insensitive. Like, uh, he, there was something wrong, you know? For him to do that and target us when we were literally just sitting there facing the other direction, minding our own business. But, um, yeah, it's very sad. It was also very terrifying. Like, I want to remember it. I feel like I'll remember it. It's something you want to put in your planner, you know? Like, you don't, but, like, I also, like... Hopefully I can laugh about it someday and be like, oh, yeah, that was crazy. Oh, I don't know. Right now I'm just like, it was freaking terrifying. <laughs> um, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to decorate this. I think I'm just not going to mark it. It feels lightly, lightly wrong and I'll, I'll, I'll remember, hopefully. I'll at least I'll have the plan with me. <laughs> So, okay. For the fun stuff, though, I'm just taking some of the, like, little palms and the pink. And I'm going to write Bake Sale Betty's. Cute. And then we'll take some more, um, take some more birds and stick those over here okay and then the other thing we're going to need obviously is to stick the on the bottom there my scallop okay I'm gonna do the lines on the side I'll be right back all right there is Friday um, I just looked at the clock and it is one in the morning. I lost track of time. If you would have asked me, I would have said like 1130. <laughs> so I'm going to head to bed and I will probably be back tomorrow morning to finish the last couple days off. All right. Hello everybody. It is now the next morning. Um, I feel much more awake, but I feel like I still sound super tired because I went to bed really late last night unintentionally. Um, but anyways, so back to the plans. Um, I'm marking here that I packed my bags because we um, went to LA for the weekend. I'm sure I said this at the beginning of the plan with me, but um, this was our first time meeting our little baby nephew, which was really exciting. Um, they live, it was like a super, super short trip, obviously. They live down in I think is it Hermosa I was like mix up if it's Santa Monica or Hermosa I think they Hermosa they live in Hermosa Beach and it is definitely the this vibes all, all around um this is definitely what their their place is like they live right on the beach literally just a couple blocks away so that's why I picked this kit um I kind of want to put something in the middle here, like a seashell or something. I don't know, whatever. It's fine. I'm just going to write, um, pack yo bags. Like I always do. Okay, cute. And then I might take one of the dividers from the kit. She included a couple. Let's see what's left. Mm, maybe this one. I feel like I should do this after I do whatever is underneath it to see what kind of florals I want to pair with it. Okay, I'm going to leave it for now. Um, but we'll I'll come back and like trim it and stuff once I have an idea of what's going on underneath there. For underneath there, I think I want to 
maybe use like one of these boxes. I kind of want to layer it with the gathered layers um, foil version a rectangle. Let me see if I can find that. Hold on. Okay. It took me an embarrassingly long time to find this sticker. Apologies. Um, <laughs> so I don't really remember what I was saying, but I'm going to use this to mark the flight and I'm just layering it. I don't like that this area right here is like open looking. So I'm going to see if I can make my own little bouquet to kind of cover that up. You put like, I don't know, more of the florals is always the answer. Then I need one. I need like a smaller one. This is feeling a little busy. We'll see. I may end up ripping all of, all of this up. <laughs> um, and then I need to take my airplane. Taking one from White Deer Stationery. And I'm going to stick this. See, I kind of wish this didn't have this floral here. Because I feel like these don't actually match, even though they're the same. Like, the green on this is more green than other stuff, but that's okay. I'm just going to say... Um, flight to LA. Okay. I would put birds right there because it would be cute, but... I don't like the idea of having birds near an airplane, <laughs> so I think I'm just going to grab some regular um, sparkles and kind of sparkle the plane. Maybe a little bow? I don't know if that's too much. Let's see. All right, that one's not my favorite, but I don't know. I do have um, some of the like gathered layer scallops on this side of the sheet. So I just want to make sure that I am pulling that in to both sides. It's one of the reasons I like when shops have like collections of things, because if you use different stuff throughout the whole spread, you can put it on both sides. I guess I also have it right here, but I don't know. Then it just looks all cohesive to me. Anyways, okay. Keep it, keep it moving. Okay, so I want to mark meeting my nephew, and I thought that a Polaroid frame would be really cute for this since it's kind of like, you know, like, like a, a moment. <laughs> so um, it's kind of bigger than it. This is from the Pretty Pink Co. It's a little bigger than I wanted. Um, but I'm going to see, cause I still have a bunch of stuff that we did that day that I want to mark, but whatever. Um, I feel like meeting him is the most important thing. So I'm going to just kind of layer a little bit and see what I can come up with. I kind of want to do the bigger florals from the like add on journaling page. I'm just not going to lay these down fully yet. Cause I don't exactly know how I want this to look. Oh, I say that as this sticks to this. Dang, hold on. Pulled up a little bit of the foil. Oh, well. Um, I do have some little baby stickers that I kind of want to use from Crafts by, uh, no, uh, Boiter Stationery, like the pacifier. I don't know if the umbrella makes sense. It, it's just so cute. I don't know if it makes more sense to just do like a floral. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that. A little bit, a little bit extra maybe, but I don't know. The umbrella is just too cute. I don't want to not use it, you know? And then I think I'm going to, well, a couple things here. I'm going to grab this heart 
and put it on the suitcase because I don't like that the suitcase doesn't have a little foiled thing on it. <laughs> and then I think I am going to use some of these heart cluster deco just, you know, because it's instead of the birds or something because of what it's marking. Okay, I used this um, Sadie Stickers raindrop garland dangle on the other side. Um, where did I do? In the sidebar right here. So again, I'm going to try and pull it onto this side too. And I actually feel like this is a pretty cute place to put it. And then I can hopefully try and stick it underneath this other stuff. I like when it looks like the garland is actually hanging from something and not just like random in the middle of the, of the column, you know, like I like it to look like it actually is coming from somewhere. So let's see if I can add something over here, like a little, one of those little balls or something to make it look like it actually is coming from somewhere. Okay. Again, we're probably doing too much over here, but that's okay. Okay. I think that's pretty cute. Um, so we went to dinner this day and we also went to a brewery or no, sorry. We went to a brewery and they made us dinner at home. I'm going to figure out a way to mark both of those things in one right here. Okay. I really don't have room to do much of anything fancy down here. So I'm just going to take like one of those simple, um, like leaf guys and layer it with this really cute flight sticker from Crafts by Towie. I'm going to cut off the tail though because I don't like that. Just trying to get the angle of this right. Where am I? <laughs> Okay, sorry if you can hear my husband. He's right outside my window blowing leaves out of the gutter because <laughs> it's going to rain tomorrow. Um, let's see. I think I, I might write beers at Mosa Brew or from Brew and Dinner. I don't know. I want to mark that we went to dinner or they made us this really nice dinner, but I don't think that there's room. I'm just going to write Mosa Brew Co. Okay. We're just going to have to do that. <laughs> I'm sad to not mark the dinner part, but oh well. Um, okay. So let's now go in with some sparkles and sparkle some of this up. Put some right here. I might find um, my birds. I need another one of these sheets. Here we go. Oops. Here we go. Okay, cute. I'm going to put down my dividers. Okay, there we go. That is all of Saturday. Super cute moving on to Sunday. Okay, so for Sunday, I'm going to put the full box at the top. I feel like I could put it, um, sorry, you can't see. I feel like I could put it here in the middle, but I'm going to put it up at the top because um, I want to use one of the bigger pieces of deco I've just decided. I didn't plan this out to, to do it this way, but I'll show you in a second what I'm talking about. Um, so since I want to use a really big piece of deco to mark like a couple things that we did that day, um, I am going to put this up at top, up top. So it doesn't like I have the full 
rest of the column to use to space things out the way I want to since it's going to be like a little bit not awkward spacing but just kind of different spacing than than as usual I feel like if you put you know the box in the middle it would look funny for what I'm gonna do of like spacing wise um, so that's the reasoning there okay finish this real quick and then I'll show you what I'm talking about sorry that was out of frame so cute I love these boxes they're absolutely amazing the palm tree with the garlands in the negative space so cute okay so for um this day Sunday we woke up and we walked down to the pier and we got coffee and again this kit was designed based off southern california so this looks literally exactly like <laughs> the little lifeguard stands down where we were walking and i kind of want to use it to mark that we walked to the pier so i think i'm going to i'm gonna let's see lay down some sticker paper here so that way um it doesn't mess up everything I have going on the other day, but I kind of want to do some layering. So stick that like that. And then my other thought was I have this um, scallop left over to maybe put on the other side. And then I also pulled out, I don't know if this is going to be way too much, but I have the Gathered Layers collection that has the foiled version of this. I don't know if I can layer them kind of both like that. Is that pretty, right? Okay. Should I go on top? I was thinking of laying it under. Oh, didn't cut all the way through. I hope that was in frame, um, but there we go. I feel like I need to cut. You can see some of that foil right there. I don't like that. Okay, cute. And then I feel like I want some palms behind it maybe. I don't know, or some florals. We'll do the palms in front and then some florals behind it. Let's see what we have left. Okay, cute. I almost wish I had like a, like a, solid like watercolor strip to put right across here to write on because like can I write walk the pier here I guess so walk the oh how do you spell pier p-i-e yeah Q 
cute. I guess I'll just put that we grabbed coffee right underneath and then I'm trying to space it out. Coffee, brunch, flight. I think there's room for three things right there. Okay, be right back. You guys are going to think I'm absolutely insane, but I'm actually going to cut this sticker that was underneath and pull it up if I can. And then layer it on the other side <laughs> because I think that would look cute <laughs> if it's popping out the other side. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing too much. I know it. That's okay. Oh, I'm getting my layers mixed up here. Kind of a lot of hassle just to have a little bit of lace peeking through, but I think it looks good. <laughs> so anyways, okay, now moving on to the coffee. Oh, you know what? No, one more thing. Sorry, I'm doing too much. I just know it. I know it, but we got to do some birds. We just have to do some birds. Okay. Now I'm done. Okay, I'm just gonna grab a simple white deer stationery icon and just not do anything too fussy to mark grabbing coffee. Probably just layer it with a floral behind it. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same kind of thing that I did. Um, oh, I'm totally out of frame. Sorry. But that I did up here for the packing my bags. Just kind of keep it similar. Okay, cute. Little foiled seashell. Just going to say grab coffee for walk. Okay, I'm going to put right underneath that, that we went out to brunch with my nephew. He's so cute and he was so good. So impressive. <laughs> He's just so happy. <laughs> Such a happy little guy. Okay. Um, sticker shrunk a little bit. I feel like that happens sometimes with premium map. I'm going to do something similar to what I did on the other side, which is take an oval. I think that looked really cute to white out the center rather than a box. Adorable. Um, I need to find a brunch sticker. Hold please. Okay. I'm going to grab this from white deer stationery. So cute. Stick that right there but lift up the edge a little bit so I can stick this guy underneath. Ooh, it might be, then I, I might not be able to write if I use that one, so maybe I'll just take the, oh, I'm doing literally the exact same thing that I did on the other side. <laughs> Sorry, it looked cute though. Okay, there's that, and then maybe I can kind of switch it up on this side. Um, I'm going to layer these two together like this. I'm going to cut off the tail though of the, um, this palm. Oh, sorry, drop that. Okay. Stick that over the top there. Cute. And then maybe, okay, I kind of made a mess of this. I put down the palm trees and then I realized there was ones right above it. So I pulled it up and it kind of pulled up some of the stickers. So I ended up having to add um, the, uh, some more of the branches right here, which is a little busy. Oh, sorry. You can't even see it. the branches here. It's a little busy, but it's fine. It had to cover that mistake. And then I took another one of my um, favorite dividers from my Sadie stickers freebie and helped kind of make that look intentional. I also put one 
over here. Oops, sorry, on this page. So I feel like that kind of ties together a little bit. Um, I'm just going to write in here brunch at. Okay, cute. And then last thing is just marking my flight home. I had a couple more things here, but I ran out of room. So that's fine. Um, we flew home in the evening. I'm just going to take a crafts by Towie. Um, icon, the other two icons here were for white deer stationery. So rather than use another one of the white deer stationery air plants, I just want to make sure that I'm keeping the, um, the color, the colors or not the colors, the balance of like foil versus, um, foil versus like doodled icons balanced. I'm looking for any more of the pink. Oh, here's one. See if I can kind of layer these two together. Stick this here and then get the plane kind of layered in there. I'm going to just stick this on the other side too. Okay. All right. And then last but not least, I'm just going to finish off um, with the dividers and all this. And then I will be back in a second to show you everything all finished up. All right. There is all of Sunday all finished up super super cute I also went back and added um the I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell I went back and added the like dot dividers on the edge of the sidebar column just to kind of tie everything together so I'll zoom out and show you this all in my planner all right y'all here is the finished kit or spread um, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it came out so beautifully. I had so much fun planning with it. Um, I'll show you a close up, but let me grab the leftovers just so you can see. I used a ton of the florals. Um, and then I feel like I used a lot of the kit in general. This is definitely a very like heavy, sticker spread. I just used a ton of stickers in general in this, which is super fun for me. Just the add-ons. But yeah, I feel like I got great use out of this. Um, I just want to say thank you to uh, Jess and uh, Tay for sending me this kit. I had so much fun. It really is the one of my favorite summer kits of the season. It's just so beautiful. I had so much fun planning with it. Um, great job to both of you for creating it. It's amazing. It was an absolutely perfect week being based off of Southern California to use for my trip to LA. It just feels so fitting and I love it so much. So um, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. Definitely leave me a comment and let me know if you made it this far. It always makes me really happy to know that some of you stick out, stick it out to the end. Um, but I think that's everything. Thanks everybody. Bye.